For this week's All Tricks Weekly Challenge, we're trying to create some uh, email addresses out of um, some input data. So we've got all of the users concatenated together up here. Um, so basically, how can we uh, get usernames, uh, email addresses for these users? So first of all, every uh, person is separated by a comma, and we'd really like them to be on separate rows, wouldn't we? So we use the text columns to split it to rows on commas, and then we get these 300 records, which is much nicer. Now we use a little bit of regex because the format of our email addresses that we want to have is their first initial and then their surname. So that's what we'll do. We'll use the pass in the regex tool. Um, so first of all, the first capture group we've got here in brackets is um, just saying, I want the first letter that it starts with. So that's nice and easy. We're on case insensitive because it says um, in the description of this challenge that um, some of the initials are in lowercase, some are in uppercase. So we're saying case insensitive just so that we just get any of them basically, which is great. So then we don't care about anything in the middle. We don't care about this bit of their name. We don't care if they've got a middle name because all we care about is like anything up to a space and then some more letters and then the digit. So basically that will be the surname because the surname will always have a space before it and a digit after it. So that is our second capture group here. Um, and the plus is just saying, you know, a letter, but more than one letter. Um, so that's great. And then our last capture group is just saying one or more numbers to get all of those uh, IDs as well, because we know that there's one um, row where there isn't a number present and Therefore, it gives us a null for all of these uh, columns, and we want to filter that out anyway. So that's nice that we've been able to do that. Now we're going to choose the data cleansing tool to correct that um, uppercase of the initial. We could have just used a formula in the formula tool. Um, I don't know. That's just what came to my head first was the data cleansing tool. Um, so then all that was left to do really is to make up our emails, which is the initial, the last name, and this test email.com. And then we just want to group into um, our initials and concatenate those emails together and count how many there are. And that gives us our final output, as you can see here. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for listening.